Hi and good morning. I'm Jason and I have a plant right here next to me called Salvia chiapensis. This is also known as the chiapas sage and this is native to Mexico and it's a pretty awesome plant. It's these spires of uh, neon magenta pink flowers behind me. Um, some of the reasons this plant's awesome is that it's nearly ever blooming. Uh, it's a perennial evergreen blooming shrub that gets to about two to four feet tall and three to four feet wide. Um, making it an awesome size to put, you know, in multiple different parts of your garden. Um, hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies love the flowers that are nearly ever blooming. Uh, I will get you a close-up of this plant. Uh, it's right here, and this plant is also drought tolerant. Um, it's gopher and deer resistant. Um, deer and gophers don't necessarily like salvia as much at all. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these beautiful flowers, uh, they come on these really nice spikes. Uh, these flower spikes and it this is the foliage here as you can see um, this is a relatively young planting still but um, absolutely gorgeous uh, this plant um, wants to be planted in part sun to part shade uh, the water requirements are medium water requirements um, it becomes more drought tolerant as it establishes so over the next year to two it will become more drought tolerant than it is now um, but you know, most salvias have a, a lot of salvias have a general drought tolerantness. Um, but this is just awesome. It's awesome, you know, because you have these flowers all the time, and it's always evergreen. So it's, you know, you have a lot of year-round appeal with this plant. Uh, as far as the water um, fertilizer requirements, you don't really need to fertilize it. Just a side mulch in the fall will do. Um, that'll give it all the nutrients it really needs. Um, as far as the type of soil you want to plant this in, you want to plant it in loam sand or very amended clay. It wants that drainage, but it's not too picky with the soil. Even with the soil pH, it's adaptable. You can plant it in acidic, alkaline, or neutral soil or a combination of any of those. Um, they're pretty adaptable plants. Uh, you know, it's great for the blooming garden. It's a great border plant. Um, it's a great companion plant if you're trying to stagger colors because you've always got this like lovely green with these, you know, beautiful pink flowers, you know, nearly year round. So just um, cut the flower spikes um, when they're done. And when you do, I would just cut them all the way down to the base, you know, or maybe even past a couple leaves, you know. Um, you can prune, prune this plant to shape, you know, the desired shape and size that you like. Uh, but yeah, it's hardy down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so down to freezing. So it, it's got a relative cold hardiness. Not the most cold hardy plant in the world, but it's got some cold hardiness to it. Uh, and propagation, uh, you can sow the seed in the spring if you want to propagate this via seed. But what's much easier is to propagate this via cuttings. Uh, so <clears throat> yeah, pretty cool plant. Um, if you have any questions about this plant, uh, this is Salvia chiapensis, also known as the chiapas sage. Uh, it's an awesome awesome ever blooming just about ever blooming evergreen perennial shrub so uh yeah and um if you haven't subscribed and you like updates of my videos please click that subscribe button and once again thanks so much for hanging out my name's jason